Hi again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and I'm doing back-to-back -back haul videos today. Most of this is stuff that we picked up at yard sales, estate sales, and I actually made it to a thrift store. We have a fly that's buzzing us. And our lights waking out. And, and our lights have decided blinking. to go blink, blink, blink. But So I did hit a thrift store this weekend. I was just not finding stuff so I went ahead and stopped at a thrift store that I normally can find well I went to one that I normally can find a few things and left there with nothing and I thought one more so I stopped at a Salvation Army thrift store and I was able to pick up two bags of plush and they were a dollar per plush so let me show you the second bag I showed you the first bag in the first video um, but just a lot of what I call my bread and butter 8 to 12 but this is a rattle plush spark create imagine just thought it was adorable super soft looks to be new walmart y'all know i love my walmart probably still pretty contemporary but it says i'm love struck i just thought that was cute be good for valentine's day or mother's day anniversary if you actually love your husband yeah, if you didn't forget your anniversary on your anniversary. This is from Puzzle Place. I think her name is Julie. But it's Fisher Price, so you know me. I'm going to try to clean up her face a little bit. And she'll probably sit on my wall for a little while before I list. She's They don't sell for a whole lot. Probably $10 to $15. But she does have some condition issues. But I basically got her to put on my wall. This is Baby Gond. Its name is Peyton. Just thought it was cute. Usually when I pick up these bears, it's like the pinks and the blues. So I don't normally find a tan one. I'm not quite sure of value. You call that tan? It looks tan to me. What it do you call like it? White with a twinge of pink in it. It does not even look pink to me. Oh, well, maybe peachy? I don't know. Now you've got me thinking. I don't know. It looks I'll like have there's, to look it up. Peyton. It, it looks white that's been like, I don't know, like. Has, I don't know. Has because a, of the nose, pink. maybe it's peachy. I don't know. You just won't say pink, will you? No, I'm not saying pink. Blue. This is Ty from 2011. Just thought it was cute. Probably still bread and butter. Most of these will be loved this because I love picking up the rabbits with the carrots this is Lindsay I just sold something recently oh a giraffe that was Lindsay not a brand I'm very familiar with but I just thought it was cute loved the penguin it's Build-A-Bear probably still 8 to 12 This is Walgreens. Sometimes I do really well with Walgreens because it's such a limited release. Um, and by the time it's retired or getting older, parents who've bought this previously for their child and lose it then are on eBay looking for it. So this is just one of those good examples of something I'm going to pick up for just that situation. This is, don't know, how cute, a little rabbit plush. The tail is actually a part of the zipper. I'm trying to see if there was, I was thinking it looks Hallmark to me, but I'm not seeing a manufacturer on there. Hopefully Google Lens will help me, but look how cute. Still 10 to 12. Another Spark Create Imagine. I just sold something. Oh, it was a little dog that was just like this. Again, probably six to ten dollars. I just thought this was cute. It's KM International, which sometimes is also Wild Republic. But a camel. Just something I don't find a whole lot of. These two were Kaplan. I'm not sure if they belonged together. Because one is just a little rattle ball. And then this was a cat puppet. I just thought it was cute. But Kaplan, and it says, Early Learning Company. 
Again, I'm still thinking bread and butter. So you had that camel. Remind me, I had a dream with a camel in it the other night. It just came back to me as soon when you. I'm like, I had a dream with a. I don't know, remember what the dream was about, but there was a camel in it for some reason. That's funny. Trigger, triggering my subconscious memories. Mm-hmm. We were just having this conversation the other day. I don't dream. Very, I, I don't ever remember having dreams. I mean, once in a blue moon, I might have a nightmare, but I don't dream like very often. It's just odd. There's probably something to that, right? Walmart. I just thought it was adorable. And then this. 2021, so very current. It's American Greetings. But again, Halloween. Pick this up. Really huge. It's Toys R Us. And it's dated I think 2017. I want to say I paid $2 for this because this other toy I paid 3 But a lot of times these big rubbery dinosaurs, I mean it's swishy, do really well. I'm thinking oh, probably 25 or more on it. Now I'm not sure about this one. Look how cute. Big O Godzilla. I think it said Imperial. Yes. Imperial 19 something. Can't read it. Not because I can't read it, but because I just can't read it. Not, you can't not because read it. I don't have glasses. It's just I can't read it. Well, how cute. I'm hoping this might be my treasure, but we'll see. Look, y'all. I just had these, I think, featured in one of Courtney's videos because I sold a small set of Sid the Science Kid um, on Bonanza for like 70 some dollars. Um, it does work. This one doesn't sell for that much. It's probably 30, 25 to 30 dollars. He does have some condition issues. I'm gonna try to clean him up a little bit by hand. But Normally, some of this Sid the Science Kid stuff sells for a lot, but this, I think, was more common. This one wasn't as hard to find, so it doesn't sell for as much. I don't normally show a whole lot of um, clothing items, but when Robert called me about this, my teenage son was standing there, and he, he agreed. Where did he say this? Oh, Zoomies. 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 This is like a Zoomy brand, Obey. But how many of you guys are looking at this shirt and starting to sing that Lionel Richie song? <laughs> That's the first thing I did. But you comped this and it was about what? I want to say $25. $25. And you paid how much? A dollar. A dollar. And then Robert picked this up. It is Hug Fun. Big O Sloth. Look how adorable. And how much? Do you remember? I got that some that pair of Magellan boots and the golf club for $10. So I'll show you guys the boots here in a second. He thought it read six, but it really reads nine. He was thinking I might want them, but I can't wear nine. So he bought all of that. This is sloth and these. This is tailor-made. This is our first golf club that he's purchased. Um, so we're going to have to order the boxes like, um, who is it that I watch? There's a box, a specific box. They order like four by four by 48s and they cut it down or something. I don't know. Uh, and you have to ship them like UPS. So we'll be figuring all this out. And that looked like it, depending on, I haven't studied golf clubs enough, but it looked like it was anywhere from 50 to $250 or something. Probably 50. <laughs> That's all right. That's a good return on $10 investment. Yes. Especially you know, including the sloth in those shoes. Yep, and these are marked Magellan, size nine. Do have a little bit of wear on the bottom, but actually really, really clean. And did you check comps on these? No. No. He I thought, thought he was buying sixes for me to wear a sloshing outside. Robert sent RJ back to that estate sale to go oh. up to the toy room we and fill a box. We can't drive yeah. yet. Right, right. He was with, but Robert sent him up to the toy room to pick up a box of more of the plush. So these are what RJ picked that he thought I would like. So most of it I think is still going to be Boyd's Bears. This is Sebastian. 
This one's not heavy like some of the others. It doesn't have that heavy thing to it. So maybe it won't be so bad. And then this one, look how cute. It's got its big old fur coat. Again, most of these still are going to be um, bread and butter, I think. This looks like maybe a Boyd's. It says Bears in the Attic by Boyd's. More like a rag doll type bear. Just, uh -huh, that one's cute. More bears in the attic. And then this one. See, yeah, uh, these don't really have the heaviness to them like these. I think when I was there the first time, this had a tag that it was handmade. I'm pretty sure it is. But very cute, but no tags anywhere. But I remember seeing one, so I think somebody's pulled it off. Here's another one. I guess these came from Home Goods at one point, but a Boyd's cat. What's an estate sale without a few tie beanies? Always cute. I'll probably just kit them together since they're both dogs. And then just a few more Boyd's. Oops, let me get them flipped around. Actually, I think I have another one right now similar to this with the wings that I'll probably put them together but that was it just more and that whole box was five dollars so probably like 50 cents each I think Robert picked this up it was a dollar again fingers crossed that it works but look how cute a little vintage plastic train set Mom and I went yard sailing I, think, I don't know if I got that there or the day before when I went myself Oh, this is when he was out in Missouri last week. And then Pillsbury Cookbook. I've not seen this one before or comped it, but usually the yellow Pillsbury ones are pretty good. They range bread and butter like $10 up until there's one that does really well. There's a thrift store having a good sale for clearing stuff out. And when I went to pay, she said it was free. So, Oh, that's a good price what I thought and then you picked this up at an estate sale right I'm trying to see right here yeah, yeah four dollars it's kind of a hodgepodge of silverware so what normally I do is put it in like lots of two or four so like it looks like I only have two of this spoon so I've got to figure out what it is what the it says Cambridge stainless and then I'll just list this as a replacement. I think that one that said on the far left there was like something rose. Right. Western Stainless yeah. Japan. Yeah, Western but, Rose or something. And a lot of times I can use Google Lens and it will tell me what these designs are. And then you just go in. I thought there was a few that were marked something else. I don't remember, but it's a whole tray of these. And, then, and for some reason, our boys throw silverware away on their, when they go to scrape their plates, they just dump the silverware and all in the trash can, I think, because our silverware supply just dwindles over time. I so, bought a 12-piece place setting, and we're down to, oh, and forks. then, yeah, and then when we combined households, we mixed up silverware, and we're still down way below 12 now. All right, and then Robert picked this up. It says, Reader's Digest, Complete Book of the Garden. How much did you pay for it? It was in one of the $5 boxes. One in the $5 boxes, and you comped it at? Okay, say 15 About 15 so in this condition with, I'm sure it's missing a dust jacket. This is from the last of the filler box. This is, oh, there's more of that too. All right, again, we part these out. And if the base isn't working, that's okay. But a lot of times, um, they do work. But like in your shipping video that for, well, that's going to go out next week. Mm -hmm. The base is always the cheapest. Right, thing because to sell. it just takes the lot. It's heaviest. It costs more in shipping. But I will take all of these parts and list each one of them separately. And it doesn't even have the instructions in there somewhere. Yeah. So, but this was in a ten dollar, I mean a five dollar box, and then just one of these cute. 
What are they? I call them milk jugs. I don't know what they're called. It, Look how cute. It looks like it's an old milk milk bottle, mm -hmm. but it looks like somebody's etched it with. Oh, you know what? It's got Mormon Rosaria Vineyards. Oh, wine. Probably some kind of wine decanter. Look, more Francoma. I'm, I'm hoping most of these are going to be like eight and up per piece. So it was uh, good. This says Godinger with a C. Look how cute. Now this is in a $5 box with the rest of this stuff, but it's a jewelry box. This is some kind of metal. I want to say it was a 20 or 25 is what the comp was on it. That's interesting. And it looks to be in really good condition on the inside. Yeah, they wanted $25 for it mm -hmm. at the regular price. I'm trying to see if there's anything under the price. Nope. Like if it had been monogrammed or anything. But that's very cute. Glass. Why is it taped like that? Does this... Oh, this comes off. That's why. Look, they had this priced at $30. We got it in the fill box I'm Trying to see what this does. Oh. It's like a perfume bottle I think not marked but it does have a rough bottom somebody remind me what is the rough bottom it means it was hand blown I think right that's my guess because that's where it like it comes off the sticker there's there's a fancy name for the tool they use and it's that kind of mark this one is signed 1986 but there's a name on the bottom etched on the bottom look at this can't even tell you what it is. Reminds me of like a coral reef or something. That makes this intriguing, when, especially when it's signed. And then he picked up a bunch of brass <laughs> to go with the other tote of brass that I haven't done yet. But I'm getting to it. Oh, look how cute. Rabbit hair. It's heavy too. Heavy. How cute that is. That would be so adorable sitting outside with some bird seed in it. And then a little bear, an owl. Makes me think of Courtney. I don't know what this is. This looks pewter, maybe. But look, it's got a little jeweled eyes going there. Oh, it is marked. Something aloe. Zinc alloy silver. Interesting. And then a bunch of candles. Sticks. I'll just pull out these two. They look like they're graduated in size. So I'll, there's five of them. I usually sell these for 25 and up for the set. I think some of them I've sold in the 40s. Mark Russell. Mark Russell. Look, y'all. Studio Art Glass Geometric Abstract. That's different than the one we have, but... Similar. So, one nineteen ninety five. Very cool. Very That's cool. That's the listed price, but... For, in a $5 box. And nobody else picked it up. How much... Oh, they had a $30 price on it, so yeah. It would take somebody knowing that it's worth that much to pay that much, but very good. All right, I think that's it. I've got to do another video, I think this week, on the stuff that I bought at that one house, the G.I. Joe's, the Rockin' Bach, the Playmobil. I think I'll make that all one video, um, but I don't know what I'm gonna do about the Playmobil because I bought so much. I mean, it's huge lots in many totes and I think it's castle and the western town and contemporary stuff and just a lot so I'll have to figure that all out shortly all right I'm going to close this out and get to work right we all need to get to work it's Monday here and I need to have lots of listings ready for the week all right bye